Do you know that most of the canned tuna that we eat is caught by large vessels called purse saners, and that one of the methods used to catch the tuna is to fish in association with dolphins? Do you know that this fishing method is considered to be one of the cleanest, most selective fisheries in the world because most of the dolphins are released unharmed and there is little other wasteful bycatch resulting from this method of tuna fishing? In the Eastern Pacific Ocean, EPO, schools of yellowfin tuna are often found swimming under herds of dolphins. Fishermen use this association as a visual cue for the presence of large, mature yellowfin tuna swimming below. To catch the tuna, they carefully encircle the dolphin herd with a purse seine net. This method of fishing used to be controversial because of the high mortality of dolphins that it caused decades ago. But nowadays, this fishery is rigorously regulated and is an excellent model of how international cooperation can mitigate and resolve environmental impacts. The EPO fishery operates under the regime of a rigorous multilateral agreement called the Agreement on the International Dolphin Conservation Program, AIDCP. The objectives of the AIDCP are to reduce the incidental mortality of dolphins in the purse seine fishery for tunas in the Eastern Pacific Ocean, and to ensure the long-term sustainability of tuna stocks and other marine resources, thus guaranteeing the sustainable management of the marine ecosystem in the EPO. The implementations of these goals are obligatory to all the nations that fish within the EPO who have bound themselves to this responsible fishing regime. The AIDCP has evolved from more than 20 years of multilateral cooperation and represents an unprecedented commitment by the nations and their tuna fleets who participate in this international fishery. Although data are scarce, it is generally acknowledged that from the 1950s through the 1980s, the mortality of dolphins caught incidentally in the tuna purse fishery in the EPO was unacceptably high, possibly more than 150,000 animals per year. With the implementation of the La Jolla Agreement in 1992, which preceded the AIDCP, the trend on the reduction in mortality was continued and reaffirmed, ranging from 15,000 dolphins to 801 in 2013, from a population of over 10 million. Many scientists think that the current levels of mortality are so low that they do not have negative effects on the dolphin populations as a whole. Furthermore, this method of fishing now affords greater protection to the EPO marine ecosystem, since it results in sharply lower levels of bycatch of other species, like sharks and sea turtles. This technique also contributes to the efficient utilization of yellowfin tuna stocks, because only large, mature tuna are caught, a strategy that maximizes the sustainable yield of the stock. Keenly aware of the problem of the high level of dolphin mortality in the early years of the EPO per seine fishery, fishermen and governments worked diligently to develop and implement methods for reducing the mortality. Three factors have contributed to the great reduction in dolphin mortalities. The development of new techniques for protecting and releasing dolphins, improvements in the fishing gear, associated equipment and release procedures, as well as the heightened awareness and commitment of the fishers to protect dolphins. Let's see how tuna are caught using this fishing method and what is done to avoid harm to the dolphins. The first step of the process involves locating a herd of dolphins and determining whether a school of tuna is associated with it. Most vessels carry helicopters for this purpose. The dolphins are herded by speedboats until they can be encircled with the vessel's purse seine net. The net used for fishing in association with dolphins contains a special panel of small mesh netting called the Medina panel which protects the dolphin's nose from becoming entangled in the net and drowning. Once the dolphins and tunas are fully encircled, the net is drawn shut at the bottom like a purse, securing the tuna catch. The vessel then commences the back down maneuver. The boat operates slowly in reverse, forming the net into a long, narrow channel and causing the far end of the net containing the Medina panel to sink several meters below the surface. Most of the dolphins are freed as the canal that is formed by the net passes underneath them, while some others may jump out of the net. Any remaining dolphins that may remain are then helped by divers who are stationed on rafts waiting to guide the dolphins to safety. Once all the dolphins have been safely released from the net, the net containing the tuna is brought on board the vessel. All the nations that participate in the fishery have committed to implementing the AIDCP and to apply severe measures for non-compliance. The 16 parties to the agreement are 
Belize, Bolivia, Colombia, Costa Rica, Ecuador, El Salvador, the European Union, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Peru, the United States, Vanuatu, and Venezuela. One of the fundamental tools of the AIDCP is a rigorous catch monitoring scheme, which ensures compliance with the agreed rules and procedures. The AIDCP tuna tracking program allows processors and consumers to verify that tuna was caught without killing or seriously injuring dolphins and can thus be certified as AIDCP dolphin safe tuna. This dolphin safe certification program is based on 100% coverage by trained scientific observers on board all vessels authorized to fish for tuna associated with dolphins. The observers monitor and report on every set and confirm that all procedures are followed and that dolphin safe tuna is kept separate from any non-dolphin safe tuna that may be loaded on board the vessel. Furthermore, the AIDCP's rigorous tracking and verification system ensures the integrity of dolphin safe tuna from the time it is caught and throughout the unloading, storing, processing, canning, and selling of the tuna. Additionally, under the agreement, all possible violations recorded by an onboard observer are reviewed by the International Review Panel, IRP, an AIDCP body composed of representatives from governments, the tuna industry, and environmental NGOs. The IRP evaluates the cases and, where warranted, forwards them to the government under whose flag the vessel operates. The IRP process adds another level of vigilance and transparency unique to the AIDCP and the EPO fishery. As a result of this great conservation and management effort by the fishermen and the nations, the purse seine fishery for tunas associated with dolphins in the EPO has become one of the most sustainable fisheries in the world. The successful AIDCP program was recognized in 2005 by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, with the Margarita Lizarraga Medal, recognizing the AIDCP as a model agreement for sustainable and responsible fisheries. It is important that the world knows about the success of these cooperative multilateral efforts and is aware of the investment and commitment behind every can of tuna that carries the AIDCP Dolphin Safe label. This label ensures consumers that the tuna was caught without deaths or serious injuries of dolphins thus protecting the marine environment for future generations. Consumers should demand that all fisheries devote the same level of dedication, verification, and vigilance that is shown by the fishermen and nations that adhere to the AIDCP.